so the topic of our discussion is linear regression what is linear regression in statistics linear regression is a linear approach for modeling the relationship between a scalar response and one or more explanatory variables in this picture we can clearly see that in between x and y axis there are some data points and in between them there is a straight line so from here we can conclude that a linear regression algorithm is related to straight line so before going deep into linear regression first know some basic things and uh, from where the linear regression is coming so let's go types of machine learning so there are mainly four types of machine learning supervised machine learning unsupervised machine learning semi supervised learning and reinforcement learning so if we uh, go deep dive into supervised machine learning we will see that supervised machine learning is mainly of two type one is regression another one is classification and uh, the regression is also have three parts in it one is linear regression second one is support vector and another one is poisson regression as uh, the discussion is about linear regression so now we will go deep dive into linear regression so linear regression is mainly of two type uh, the first one is simple linear regression or single linear regression and another one is multiple linear regression in a simple linear regression we have only one input column and for multiple linear regression we have more than one uh, input columns so and now go to the next part of this so we can see we can see in this uh, picture that uh, in the right hand side picture we can see that there is a table in ta in this table we have only two columns one column is cgpa which is the input column and another column is package in lpa which is our output column and uh, uh, i have uh, drawn a picture here uh, this is a graph between cgp and package so we can clearly see that the relationship between package and cgp is a sort of linear so uh, this is a uh, uh, important thing that uh, for using the linear regression we need the data which have a linear sort of relationship in between them so going back to this table we can see here that uh, there there are some students cgpa and corresponding packages of that student so our end goal is to have the package of unknown student cgpa suppose we are giving uh, a cgpa of 9 uh, of a student so we want to know the package how much he will get in lpa so this is our end goal so go to the next part we can see here that this is a line straight line red colored line we can see here so in linear regression linear regression algorithm does this straight line it creates a best fit line between the data points and we can also see that all the data points are somehow related to linear between them there there is a uh, linear relationship there is a linear re relationship between the data points and in between them there is a straight line linear regressor uh does this job it creates a straight line best fit straight line between the data points now there may be a question that uh, how linear regression does this job so we know that uh, if we have to draw a straight line we know the equation of straight line this is y is equal to mx plus c where x is our input and y is the output we want to get 
and uh, there are another two things which one is m another one is c m is the slope of that straight line and c is the y intercept so how this m is calculated m is calculated in this way where x bar is the input columns mean y bar is the output columns mean and xi is the ith value of input column yi is the ith column of output column and this is the formula how we are calculating the m and similarly this is the output columns mean and this is the input columns mean and this is the our slope so in this way we calculate m and c and if we get m and c and we have already have our input data we can find out a new y value so in this way we are getting the our output value using straight line using the linear regression model so these all these things are mathematical terms so now we we will see how uh, by coding we can predict our uh, cgp our we can predict our salary we will give a cgpa we want to get the salary so let's jump to the coding part so as we can see that i have imported all the necessary libraries and import the data so you can see that there are two columns cgp and package same data but there are 200 rows and two columns and i have also plotted this here you can see that uh, there are a linear sort of relationship between cgp and the package and i i have done some necessary pre processings now uh, in python there are, there is a library called scikit-learn so from scikit-learn i have imported the train test split so using train test split i have splitted my whole data into two parts uh, first part is my train data and second part is my test data so and now my test size is 20 that means uh, my test size is 0.2 that means Uh, the twenty percent of the whole data will go into the test side. Now, I have imported uh, the linear regression class from sklearn library and make a object of linear regression class. Now, this is the fitting part or the training part of the model. So, I have trained uh, x. give the x or the input columns trend value and output columns trend value finally after training after training we can see here that if we give a x value suppose there are x value is 8.58 we have our training data you can see here you can see here x x test is 8.58 so and corresponding salary is y test this is 4.10 so if i give 8.58 i am getting 3.89 close to the original data so you might have a question in your mind that how we are calculating this b and m value we have our x 8.58 but uh, the output is this so how we are calculating b and m so in python we don't have to do all the things by our hand in back end all these things are calculating by the formula which i have discussed earlier using this formula this y intercept and our slope is calculated back end so uh, that's all and uh, i have give another two examples where uh, the x test is 9.5 and our output is 4.40 that's mean the cgp of that student is 9.5 and he is getting a package of 4.40 uh, 
so you can give any number of test examples and you will get corresponding output so that's it